The interbellum period, during which Alone in the Dark takes place, lasted between the end of the First World War in November 1918 and the start of the Second World War in September 1939. It's a period of hope, prosperity, conflict, upheaval, and eventually, decline. Some historians dismiss interbellum as a misnomer, insisting that there weren't two separate wars, but one long, unbroken conflict. But it's worth focusing on the rapid progress that occurred within the period. Most independent countries enacted legislation giving women the right to vote. Cars, electric light, telephones, and radio all become common in the developed world. These factors led to the Roaring Twenties, a period categorized by upward social and economic mobility, Art Deco, Flapper Girls, and the onset of the Jazz Age. It wasn't to last. The stock market crash of 1929 led to the Great Depression, the longest, deepest, and most widespread financial crisis of the 20th century. Economic disaster caused people to question the effectiveness of democracy, leading, in part, to the growth of anti-democratic regimes in Italy, Japan, and Germany. It's at this tipping point that we meet the cast of the game. Ruth, for instance, is described as a debauched flapper girl, and Emily's life was irrevocably changed by the Great War. Alone in the Dark gives us a glimpse of a world of fragile peace and fading hope, obscured by the growing shadow of fascism.